Hello, welcome back. Uh, right, lots of summons and things, as you can see. Um, we didn't get attacked this turn. We did have one of our globals dispelled. Uh, fortunately, it was Mother Oak, though. So of the three, <laughs> it's probably the best one to get dispelled. Uh, the global that has been put up in its place is Vanheim casting the boat, which I can't remember the real name of. Go ship Armada. So I'll talk about that in a second. And besides that, though, yeah, nothing else really happening except us attacking the throne in Debrithia. So, first up, we Cloud Trapeze in. Strange Energy does some Wind of Death. Not much else to see here. Decaying some boars. Some mages, some archers. I think we cast it twice. Yep. So, <laughs> killed a lot of stuff. Uh, I think we killed at least one mage. Exactly one mage. <laughs> so we killed 145 things there. Uh, then we move in with some conventional forces. So a lot of troops. Two mages, one big guy. Big guy lands in the back with some escorts. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, big guy does generate a ton of fatigue, unfortunately. He's on, he's on 101 fatigue right now with um, 5 reinvigoration and soul vortex, so... Yeah, he... he um, he's a very tired boy. He's also stuck behind his dudes at the moment, but that's okay. Still, pretty straightforward. Uh, we did lose one of the giants, unfortunately, but there's another 177 things dead. And we got another throne, which is nice. Events then, Tiffy and C, we get some gold. Saramatia, we get some income. And we discovered a Rillian scout in Laria, of all places. Uh, and that's it for messages. Yeah, so Ghost Ship Armada is up. This spell is buffed in the balance model running. The... Ghosts are, well, more difficult to kill. I think they all have resists and ethereal and fear and stuff. Um, it's kind of annoying for us. I mean, we have a lot of coastlines. I mean, practically every, with the exception of a couple of provinces down here, every province we own is coastal. Uh, well, I guess the underwater provinces aren't coastal either. Uh, still, though, that might be obnoxious. There are a few other players around here that also have a lot of coasts as well, but... Yeah, that does seem like it might be annoying. We'll see, though. Uh, besides that, though, things are pretty calm, except this. I can see Caelan about to take Rulia's throne. It looks like on the Discord, because this turn has already rolled over now, it looks like on the Discord people are saying Caelan is very close to winning all of a sudden, which is surprising, because... they have two thrones, so... Unless um, after this turn ends, they claim a ton of thrones at once. I mean, that's pretty... I mean, to be fair, we can't see Kellum at all, basically. I can see a province there and, and this, and that's it. So, if there's one player I have no insight into, it's Kellum. So yeah, may I mean, maybe they, maybe they control all this territory for all I know, and they have all these thrones easily. Uh, I don't know, but we'll see next turn. For now, it's just something to be aware of. We might have to put together some sort of sailing force to try and take this from Kalem, but again, I don't really have any vision over here. I don't have a scout I can, like, sail over easily either or anything like that. I guess I could put some flying shoes on a Nemedian Sork, because they are stealthy. <laughs> I guess I could use them to scout, but I don't know, it seems incorrect. Uh, that's something to be aware of, though. The plan was to go after this throne next, but now I don't know. There's a, I can still see this golem patrolling here, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. Um, there's still no PD. So, what, okay, I'll tell you, the plan was... I was going to pick up um, some ranks of blood magic just in case this gets attacked. Um, so that we can do... Well, we can do agony and reinvigoration if we want to with a little communion. Uh, and then get enchantment 8 for mass regen. And then once I've got the mass regen, because my Onichi goes down here now, 
Um, I'll just move in here. But I might have to pull stuff back to try and take some thrones off Kaelon. Depending on how things shake out next turn. But I guess we'll just see. I mean, it would be nice if, you know, Helheim or Vanheim was taking thrones off Kaelon. They have much better access to them than I do, but... Well, that's the way things stand. Anyway, what's happening this turn? Well, we just took this throne, so that's good. Um, this is a coastal province, so it might get attacked by the boat, which would be annoying. So everyone's just sitting here. I'm moving some stuff here as well. We've got some. I've got a water mage coming to do cleansing water, uh, in case we see some ghosts. Uh, these guys are still here. Um, these guys are doing some uh, banishment as well. They're coming over. We've also got the prophet as well, who can do big banishes. So setting up some defense while I build a giant palisades, a lab, claim the throne. Uh, the throne itself is the throne of fire, which is a pretty nice one for us actually. Blessed troops get plus three attack, that's sick. Gets us some fire magic too, which, yeah, I mean we don't have a lot of fire magic, but we've had a lot of fire gems. Uh, currently on six per month, when we claim this that'll be eight per month. So pretty cool pickup. Uh, so hopefully we hold this province <laughs> against the boat if it attacks us. But I'll try and get infrastructure and defense set up there pretty quickly. Uh, down here, just moving stuff towards scroll point still. Now uh, we have some Morrigans here now doing summon uh, some uh, Median Sorks here doing summon Morrigan now in addition to the Corpsmen. So also got the Blood Mage forging a lifelong protection. Uh, Morrigans, in case you don't know, are let's see, are there any in this province? No, I think they're all down here at the moment. Uh, these units. They are pretty sick. So sacred flying undead units with glamour, stealth, spirit sight. They got fear order. Um, they also have twenty defense. In addition to a life draining, I think yeah, life draining spear. Um, extremely sick units. They currently have twenty seven hit points, but that is from gift of health. So. But even so, I mean, 70 in hit points would be pretty nice on a 20 def <laughs> unit that's sacred, right? Uh, pretty good. So I'm going to summon as many of those as I can. We're getting a couple of Morrigans in this fort, a couple in this fort, and one in this fort every turn now, in addition to Corpse Man. Uh, besides that, not much to say, because yeah, I was hoping to get mass regen before I attack this, but we might have to do other things if Kaelin's about to win. Which would be a shame. It's only turn 59. <laughs> I, th I was hoping we'd have a bit more time to develop. But oh well. Uh, anything else is happening besides that? I mean, yeah, I'm still forging a few bits and pieces. Lifeline protection, amulet of anti-magic. Um, claiming that throne. Making some bags of wine. Rainbow armor. Yeah, a lot of those items are for this guy, so he'll get the rainbow armor and the amulet of anti-magic. And uh, I think that's it. So not a lot happening otherwise. Lots of summons. Uh, but that's it. I guess we'll have to just see how things shake out next turn. See if the boat takes a bunch of provinces off us. Caelan claims us four thrones. <laughs> um, but that was turn 59, so thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, we got a little bit of blood magic done. I've also made sure we get just enough research to hit Enchantment 8 this turn, so we can attack that Van Throne next turn. Didn't see Caelum claiming, claiming any thrones though, so we claimed ours. I'm not sure. Uh, I guess we'll just forget about Caelum for the time being, since <laughs> we can't see it, it's not real. Um, did a bunch of summons though, and that's about it. Search of sites didn't find any. And we got attacked in Gaeta by the boat, unfortunately. So yeah, here is the buffed and improved boat. Bunch of damned buccaneers. I don't know what these units are like in vanilla, to be honest. But here they are Amphibian, they have Fear, Pierce Resistance, Cold Res, Poison Res, Ethereality. I mean, they're pretty decent. They only have eight hit points, though, so. Um, we got some got an Air Mage. We have, looks like a Fire Mage. Fire 3, in fact. Oh no, you just cast Phoenix Power, okay. Okay, looks kind of special. Oh, there's Torgrin himself, okay. Well, they're nothing special, but obviously they conquer PD pretty easily, so... Uh, yeah. 
So we lose grades, unfortunately. I have to take that back. Uh, events, pretty mediocre. A lot of fertility, fertility cult stuff going on in Forest of Gila, so I'm going to head there and start preaching. Uh, some income in defense in Fomoria, that's kind of nice. A couple of gems in Anasia, and lost some income in Laria, unfortunately. And that's it for messages, and still, yeah, not much happening. Uh, this has been taken, so I guess it gets claimed this turn, so... You can see, uh, the army appears to be commanded by Dust Thug, the Dust Priest. Uh, also see Yazads, Divas, Sea Trolls, Three Huge Troll Gods, Familiar Warriors. Um, yeah, I mean, if I want to attack this, I'm going to have to put something substantial together that can sail. Um, we have a bit of stuff here still. I mean, it's not... <laughs> it really is a bit of stuff, though. There's not anything, like, overwhelming. 18 units in the garrison, I don't know. I think, honestly, we might have to leave this for other players to deal with, if uh, Caelan really does have a bunch of thrones. Uh, we're just sitting tight and researching. Like I said, we can get <laughs> this this turn if we just do nothing. So a lot of the corpse construct summoning is turned off. I was going to have everyone search here for sites, but again, just need to squeeze out just enough reach source points to hit uh, mass regen. And then we'll just walk onto this next turn. Let's see what's there. Uh, um, I mean, I imagine there's something patrolling here, given... Then again, he would have had to be patrolling for a while, because I've just had this stack sat here doing nothing for a while. <laughs> which must be kind of annoying. Uh, I think we just move in, though, blindly next turn. We just YOLO in. If it goes badly, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, our, our thrones are here, <laughs> so... <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's, uh, just keep defending these three points, and... Pull back for a while. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll try and just move on to this next turn, though. Would be nice. Still just summoning Morrigans over here. Uh, we've got quite a bit of stuff in the garrison. We've got two months left on the main mercenary companies as well. Up to ten Morrigans. It's not a lot, but it's better than zero. Uh, we've got two lifelong protections as well, so... If there's something clever here, like a golem patrolling... Although I can't see the golem on the report now. And we can have a bunch of imps and morrigans attacking on turn zero to try and... I don't know. It's kind of hard to, like, take out a golem quickly as the thing, but... I mean, morrigan hit pretty hard. They have a ton of attack skill as well, and that's... they'll be blessed too, so we've got plus three attack skill now, so... Pretty much every hit... every attack's gonna hit. It does, you know, quite a bit of damage. There's ten of them, I mean, that's, what, 190 damage, right? <laughs> Reduced by protection, but still. I don't know. We'll see what's happening. I mean, I'm playing a bit safe, but from my perspective, we're the throne leader, and I'm just building up to take another one, so... I don't know. I don't really think I can contest this reasonably. Um, I could send in flying stuff. I can do Seeking Arrows and Winds of Death, and... Like, if an actual war bur is happening around here, I can help, but... I don't think I can contest thrones against a developed player over in water. Unless I start moving all of this stuff back, I guess, but... I don't know. Let's just see. If, if four thrones get claimed next turn by Kalem, then okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it a bit more seriously, but if not, we'll just attack Pogami and see, see how things go. Uh, besides that, attacking this to take it back, there's just some guy. <laughs> you should just take it with no problems. Uh, moving another two units from Sarrow into Squirrel Point. Moving to Forest of Gila to preach here, to, I don't know, try and fix the Cult of Gaia stuff that's been happening for a while. Maybe that'll help. And uh, one of our mercs is just going to Jome. Just in case the ghost boat attacks here, he can try and <laughs> fend it off. You know, good luck to him. And uh, that's it for turn 60, so... Not much else to say. Thanks for watching, though, and I'll <laughs> see you next time.